Hello. Today we are going to look at how to distribute a negative 1. Grab those MJs open and the example I want you to copy down is 6x minus 3 minus in parentheses uh, a negative 4x plus 2 equals 7x minus 4 minus sorry plus x. Hmm. Now distributing a negative 1 is one of, of common errors that I see as people start to try to solve these types of problems. When we look at order of operations, again we want to make sure we get rid of these parentheses. Now the big thing that's different here is this negative right in the front here. What I like to do, and some people um, it makes more sense to them is if you put and think about this what number can you multiply by that doesn't change anything and that would be the number one so some people actually like to put a number one right in there and squeeze it in because that's essentially what you're multiplying by another option would be if you wanted to add a negative, you could do that as well, so you realize that that one is a multiplying across. But we are just going to stick with this one for right now and go from there. So, with distributing, we need to make sure we go across with the rainbows going across and multiplying with both of those. So we end up with a negative 1 times a negative 4, which gives me a positive 4x and then a negative 1 times a positive 2 gives me a negative 2. And I chose to write it as plus a negative. The other way to write it if you'd like to do that as well is to just keep it as a minus 2. That one would also be acceptable and I can write it like this. With that, let's add the rest of it in. That was really the only new piece of information. We'll solve the rest of it, and I'll show you some quick and easy ones after this problem. So we have a 6x minus 3, and then this was a plus 4x, because remember that was a positive on this side, um, just a 7x minus 4 plus x. Now obviously some of you are thinking we could combine like terms over here and that's just fine. Let's start over here first. So I know that 7x plus another x gives me 8x minus 4. Over on this right side let's do some combining as well. I have 6x plus 4 more gives me 10x. Whoops, kind of low there. That's all right. A minus 5 and then minus 2 more. Sorry, minus 3 and a minus 2 more gives me a minus 5. Next up, this is where at the last video I said you're left with four options here. I could bring this 10 over to this side. I could bring the 5 over to this side. And then the 8 or the 4. I like to get my variables together first. So what I'm going to do is subtract this 8x because it is the smaller of the two. That's purely the only reason. If you wanted to subtract the 10, you could do that as well. But on this left side then, I am left with 2x minus 5 equals a negative 4. All right, next up, we're down to our two-step equation. Two steps until we are done. Add 5x plus 5x. And we have 2x is equal to 1 whole. And then we need to get rid of this 2. Instead of multiplying by 2, we're going to divide, divide on both sides. Now this is a perfect example of why we like to write it as a fraction. Because right here, 2 over 2 we know is 1 whole. So that cancels out. On this other side, recognizing that a fraction is actually the same thing as dividing. So you already have your answer right there given to you, which is x then equals 1 half. If you wanted to change it to 0.5, you can, but there's not really a reason to do so. And there's your final answer. You can put that back in to check. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to just show you a few other quick problems to make sure you're understanding. 
right here. Um, let's see if I have a negative 2x minus 3. If I just were to simplify this one again to get rid of that minus, distribute it going up to root here. Another way to think about it, kids like to remember that you always just change to the opposite. So here, since this was a positive 2x, when you multiply it by the negative, it 1 becomes a negative 2x. Because this was a minus 3, when you do a negative times a negative, it now becomes a plus 3. And that would have been your answer for simplifying that side. I'll do one more, and we can call it good. We're going to just add another one. Let's just call it m minus 2m plus 4, keeping it simple. So here, again, it, think about it. You have to subtract this entire thing from m. So go ahead and distribute the negative. This negative needs to go times the 2 and times the 4. Again, if you wanted to write a 1 in front of it, that's the same thing, and some people like to think of it that way. So I now have m negative 1 times 2 gives me a negative 2m. Negative 1 times positive 4 gives me a negative 4. Combine like terms, and I have a negative m minus 4. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me over the weekend. Otherwise, have a great weekend.